sorry if this screen keeps jumping. I tried to pre-record this in my bedroom and the sound came out terrible because I realised that I sometimes mumble like really bad. So a lot of it you can't actually hear. So uh, that's always fun. So I had to stop and come in here and do it again. Don't worry, I've got all the questions. There are actually 50 questions to get through. 50. Last time, Nat managed to smash out the bag because I think there were like over 100 questions. I didn't even realise and we did it in half an hour. I'm gonna try and keep this down. We don't have to do a part three. Here we go, we're just gonna kick off. Do you wanna know what it was like from like when I was born to when I was like, you know, when are you not a child? Mm. I know that I was, as a very small little wee baby, terrible Scottish accent. Definitely fat. Definitely uh, hilarious, because it's kept going. More laughed at, I might say. From the words of my mum, like just a big, happy ball of baby. So I think as a child I was just like really ridiculously happy. There's literally like a holotype photo series where I'm just eating food, dancing on stages with people and basically like fearless. So I was fearless that funny. All the Fs. I mean do you need to know this because I think I've made it very very clear. I love it. Hands down Japan. I can't even like try and fit this into a short video. Just go to Japan because it is amazing. The people, the culture. Oh my god, that sounds so educated. And just like the general, like if you go to it, you see photographs and it's it's even better than the photographs. Everything just worked out perfectly when we went there. I mean anytime. I could cook a roast dinner, sort of. <laughs> To be fair, I would invite you to the house here in Bristol and I wouldn't make it. My parents make it. They make the most roast. Don't come for my dinner, come for their dinner. Probably mumbling. I have a weird kind of bad habit. Definitely trying to work on it. I don't like being wrong. Like, I need to be smart and if I'm not smart, it's not okay. So that's definitely something I'm trying to work on. That's another annoying thing. My temper flares. If something annoys me, I have to take some TO and sit down. It can flare. I can be very hot headed. To be mentally happy. I quit my job and I've been unemployed. Like, looking at my watch, like it's got the date on it. It doesn't. Please hire me. Because I didn't love it. I loved the people. I didn't love my job. Now I'm just completely motivated to make sure that, like, five days out of the seven, when have I got some? Handsy. Kind of love what I'm doing. Biggest motivation right now is to just be happy. When I'm doing things I love, with the people I love. Because I like going out, that's like my thing. I love dancing. Nothing better than when you go on a night out and you barely drink because you are always on the dance floor just playing like whopper after whopper. You'll get used to whopper, that's just like a thing I've picked up. Also, just like my ultimate favourite thing, handy. Sitting in and watching a movie with my best friends. There's just like no stress. So that's when I'm at my happy. 100%. You'll have to come to a party and I'll have to show you. Sounds really wrong, but it's not. It's a simple trick, it's really weird. That's for me to know and you to never know. <laughs> I mean, that is just like endless. Like the top thing is just the support network that you have is incredible. Like, I just, I love it. Nothing makes me more happy than when you see one woman who doesn't know this other woman. This one just compliments this woman. And they're just like, oh my god, I think you look so good. No, you look so good. Girls' bathrooms, basically. That's like my ultimate favorite moment. And I think I have like other things. We never kind of look at a scenario just like one sided. People say it's like a bad thing that like we all jump to conclusions. In certain things, you've got to be like, oh my god, I need to not overthink something. When it comes to like a profession, we always look at it from every angle. We consider everybody we consider kind of all the bad things that could happen as well as all the good things love that kind of way of thinking that that we kind of try and not set ourselves up to fail give it our all that's, that's one of my favorite things so the support network and giving it your all women are just great literally say this like all the time i don't know why this is my favorite one westies if i can put like a little picture here of some puppies because they're adorable probably get a sausage dog as well they're just so bad they are little sausages with legs. When people are like inconsistent, and I don't mean like with organizations, because it is annoying when somebody cancels like last minute. That's like so annoying. Everybody has the right to kind of like change their mind. So you want to go out, but 
like one moment and then the next you don't because you're not feeling it that's fine when I talk about like inconsistency it's like personality just like when you see someone in one group see the same person in a different group and they're just like not the same person what the fuck is that you kind of start to question like their moral and where they kind of stand in the world and you're a bit like who are you and then it kind of makes you wonder about like your friendship with them so you're like if you say that with that person do you say that with this one that's something that I think like really bugs me knowing people who are like that I ain't friends with them no more so inconsistency really bugs me at the moment my go-to outfit is genuinely what I'm wearing like right now this little coat is super cute probably can't wear it outside because right now it's raining I don't know if you can actually hear it in like the audio but it's this little little fluffer. It's the thing I can get to a dressing gown with anything black. Right now I'm wearing like a black top and black jeans, even black socks. And I usually just kind of put on like some vans with these little belt, and little accessories. Just because it's easy. That's my go-to outfit. I did try and watch because a lot of like my friends had kind of said that they ended up kind of like watching one episode and then kind of watched more and more and more. So I was like, let me see if that happens to me. Kind of did, but not really. I watched like until like four episodes of this season. They're like spread apart. Like I did not watch them like one after the other. I think it just got to a point where I was just like, I don't really care for these people. Who they are, I don't know why I'm watching them. No, no, I don't watch Love Island. I don't watch it, no. But I don't judge anyone who does. Do your thing. Something weird like McGovern or McGovern or uh, Salary to la 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 la. I was gonna go cats, because cats are very like chill, kind of don't need people doing their own thing, which I kind of am like, and I'm also kind of not. So maybe, maybe, maybe a cat combined with a bear, because I relate so much to when you see a bear just itches back on a tree. Cat and a bear. I feel really bad for saying this because I'm trying like not to eat as much meat, but a steak. Nothing beats when you go to a restaurant and it tastes amazing. You can't unthink about that steak. Then you compare every steak to that steak. So I would have somebody like flown in, like top dog chef, who make me a steak with some triple fried chips. I'm gonna die, it doesn't matter about calories. That's probably my I would have. Why am I on death row? What did I do? I went for a breakfast this morning with my mum and dad. The best thing that's happened to me is like the amount that I've traveled, Barcelona, Amsterdam and Australia this year. I think genuinely hands down that has been the best thing about 2019. I really enjoyed it so far. Probably like going to the pub, literally just going to the pub, went to the pub with people I literally haven't seen in years, actual years. That has been the best thing that's happened to me this week. Probably Amsterdam. I went to Amsterdam for my birthday, for my 26th birthday. Just absolutely hilarious. I loved every second of it. If there's like another question along the way, I'll explain a bit more, but yeah, definitely Amsterdam. Give away my game. Ah. How ironic that I was like, I'm going to save Amsterdam. I'm going to stay in that. Is probably uh, one of them because it was like a like an eclectic mix of people. My housemates at the time, which were Nat and Heather, and Nat's little sister Jenny, and my friend of like 10 years, Becky, we went and it was like hands down top three best holidays. It was just like a little bubble of love. And the girl surprised me like so many times. Like I would literally like just be, you know, and then they would kind of secretly do something. I didn't even know they were doing it. Like they were so stealthy. Stealth mode was 100. Made that experience for me, that was, so good that holiday and i just loved every second of it and then another time was my 18th birthday we went to this place called thecla and this was back in the good old days it's not the same anymore r.i.p went with like my really good friend brother was djing so the music was like on point like please please play this song please play this song you can get the gist i just remember looking down and being like this is just like the happiest i've ever felt your bliss happiness for some reason that has kind of like always been a potent kind of memory in my head that I've just kind of always had stuck there. Yeah, just loved it. There was nothing particular about it. I think it was just being wholly happy. So 18th and 26th, those are my favorite birthdays. 
No, don't hold on to that stuff. No regrets. Kind of want this one here. I think this is your tragus. I want that pierced because you can't really stick my hairs in like down. I'm a little unbalanced with my piercings at the moment. I think I'm on like seven. Kind of want that one done in that hair. So it's going to be a tragus piercing. I have the worst hangovers. Genuinely really bad hangovers. So I'm going to say the basic thing. Just a load of water. Greasy food. Sleep. So much sleeping. I think the Agassi Falls in Brazil. Insane. It was genuinely mad. Recommend going to it if you can. I don't have OCD, but I am very particular about things. Hell yeah. Yeah, yes. My god, you'd have to go. The earth from there? Mm, definitely. You have a loving husband and they offer you a sandwich filled with cheese, spaghetti, apple and prawn heads. Do you A, eat the sandwich knowing it will make them happy but you'll die from food poisoning? Or B, I'm glad there's a B option, I hope it's not terrible. Throw the sandwich in their goddamn face and ruin the rest of your marriage. Both of those scenarios sound like they're going to end in a ruined marriage because I'm going to die. And they would have killed me. Probably B. They ruin the marriage because every time we had an argument they keep bringing it back up. They can't expect me to eat that unless they eat it themselves. My left side. This side. Mum jeans, joggers, maybe this fluffy jumper, anything that's comfy. I can give you three. First one, it's humans, um, a brief history on how we picked it all up. It's kind of genuinely like a history timeline of where we went wrong before Christ, the way up to like now. It's just hilarious. If you want historical fat filled fun, then read that book. Another one is called Dark Matter. It literally like kicks in like straight away. There's like no messing around with this book. Basically following this guy who's been kidnapped and he ends up kind of like in this other world. You don't know how he got there or why he's there. I'm not even joking, like 12 pages in, boom, and it's so good. Three is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. Every woman should have this book on their shelf, not about the love that you think it is. I'm roping you in. No, not in a test, not on a partner. Don't understand it. Okay, I'm broke. Money, money. Boris Johnson's wig, money. No. In the lottery. Can't give that away. Apologies to my parents if they watch this, they probably are going to watch this. They're literally downstairs right now. The amount of times I was saying that I was staying over a friend's house and I really wasn't, probably the biggest lie. Isn't everything that's mean, mean is? 60% of the time, it's Anchorman every time. No sugar, milk, love. I have a little app called Instasize. My favorite one is called Tokyo. If you download it, you will know why. Definitely black. That's all the questions. That is literally every single one of them. Lots of hands going on. Hopefully this isn't poorly edited. Please don't judge me. I don't edit videos. My first time, what I'm doing. All up in the air, a lot of hand movements in this. So yeah, hopefully you now know me better than you already did. Thank you for sending in all those questions to everybody who actually did. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.